Are you ready for some simple, quick, easy, whole food plant-based recipes? I hope you are because I'm doing another what I eat in a day, so stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the Starch Solution. The Starch Solution is a program that was developed by Dr. John McDougall. On his program, I was able to lose 15 pounds without counting calories, weighing my food, and if you would like more information on this amazing program, I will leave a link to his book, The Starch Solution, in the description box below. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that all sounds good to you, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because I do post every Tuesday and Saturday and I wouldn't want you to miss one. And if you'd like more plant-based content, you can follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. If you're new to this way of eating, or maybe you've been doing it a while, but you're struggling, I started a Facebook group, and there you will find a very active group of like-minded people, and you will find recipes, inspiration, and best of all, support. And be sure to sign up for my newsletter. It comes out every other month. And in my newsletter, I discuss different topics some are from a nursing perspective. You'll get some tips and tricks and some recipes. I will leave the link to all those resources in the description box below. As I said in the intro, this is going to be another what I eat in a day. And of course, all these recipes are gonna be quick and easy, things that you have in your house. A few videos ago, I was talking about how I was eating out of my pantry to save money and just to make my meals simpler and I'm still doing that and it's working out really well. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing today. I'm just going through my fridge and my pantry and I'm making recipes from the foods that I have on hand. So I haven't gone out to buy anything special for these recipes for today. It's everything that was already in my house. So let's get started. So for breakfast this morning, I'm not super hungry, so I'm just gonna do some fruit and some of my homemade granola. So I've got some apples in there I had some frozen peaches and strawberries. Strawberries don't look too good, but they're sweet. So apples, strawberries, peaches, I'm gonna put a banana. I have some of these beautiful blackberries that I will put in here. So you're getting just a ton of fiber, antioxidants, it's really yummy. This is perfect if you're not super hungry. So I had all this in my, I had the peaches and the strawberries in the freezer. I always have some kind of a berry, always have apples, and then I have a banana, and I'll just slice that in here as well. I'm just gonna use half a banana for right now. And then I just sprinkle some granola on top, so you get a nice crunch. And if you wanted to put a splash of soy milk in here or plant milk, that would be fine too. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little granola on there and this will be breakfast. So you've got your oats and it's just a different way to have your oatmeal. But it's quick, it's easy. I always have my homemade granola. I'll leave a link to that recipe in the description box. And then just a bowl full of fruit. So I'm gonna go enjoy my breakfast. I'll see you at lunch. For lunch, I'm gonna be doing a Fiesta chickpea sandwich. I don't do a lot of bread because when I eat a lot of bread, just like a lot of pasta, I will gain weight. So that's something I eat maybe twice a month, if that. But sometimes I just really get a craving for a sandwich, like on toasted bread, and I love a chickpea sandwich. And to make it Fiesta, I'm using this Mexican Fiesta seasoning, which I'm totally obsessed with. There's a link down below in the description box if you wanna get it for yourself. I put it on everything. And um, I don't know if you saw my last video, I made fries and I used this as the seasoning, which I'm gonna do again today, but I'm not gonna put all the other stuff on it. I'm just going to put this on the potatoes, air fry them, so I will have some fries with my sandwich. Okay, so I have a can of chickpeas in here that are rinsed and drained. Um, I rinse them pretty well. And then I usually start with a masher, potato masher, and then I usually go in with a fork. And, so we just mash them up. So the masher does a pretty good job and then I just go in 
with my fork to kind of refine it. I do like to leave a few whole, another hole, a few chunks. I like the different textures in my sandwich. And some people actually peel their chickpeas, the little skin off, and I don't have time for that. If you want to do that, feel free, but my recipes are all about quick and easy. Now this is also a great sandwich to take with you to lunch. It holds up really well. This is good. This is the consistency I like. For the mayo, I'm going to be using McDougal's mayo. I'll leave a link to the recipe in the description box below. And this is great because it's made from silken tofu and it's super easy. So I just start with about that much. What is that? A quarter of a cup maybe? And then I go from there. If I want to put more in than I do. And I don't like it super mayonnaise-y. That's just me. Some people like it really like my husband likes a lot of mayonnaise and I just, I just need a bit. So this is good for me right now. Then I'm going to add in some finely chopped celery and a little bit of red onion. And then I will put a dab more mayo in there because I added those things in there. And then I'm going to add some of my seasoning. This stuff is good on everything. And it is salt free. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Now I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to stick it in the fridge, let the flavors all meld together. And I'm going to put my fries into the air fryer. So I just took a couple russets, cut them up into little fry shapes. And then I'm going to use my Mexican Fiesta seasoning. Generous with this. Then I'm going to stir them around. This seasoning mix does have paprika, but I like smoked paprika, so I add more of this on here. All right, that's it. We're gonna throw it in my air fryer basket, 400 degrees for 15 minutes. All right, so I toasted my gluten-free bread. I like the Little Northern Bakehouse brand. I can leave the information down in the description box if, you're, if you would like. And then I'm just gonna put some of my Fiesta chickpea. So freaking yummy. And how much you put on your sandwich, up to you. And then I'm just gonna put a couple slices of tomato and some lettuce. And I don't know, maybe you put the lettuce first and then the tomato, but this is how I do it. And then that goes on top. Among controversy, do we do diagonal? Do we do this way? I think today I'm just gonna do this way. I like to, you know, vary it up. Then I've got my french fries, put my sandwich on there. I also have a side of mixed veggies. And guess what? I'm gonna put some of that seasoning on that. And then for my fries to dip in, I took a little bit of that mayo and then I'm gonna add some ketchup. So I'm gonna make some like secret sauce. Ooh, I'm gonna put some of the seasoning in that too. I told you I was obsessed with this stuff. Stir that around. And there's your secret sauce and it tastes just like the secret sauce that you're used to. So that is lunch. I mean, well-balanced, filling, whole food plant-based, super easy. I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch. So for dinner, I'm gonna make a barbecue tofu bowl. So we're gonna get our tofu cut up and I've got my pan heating over here and then we're gonna make a quick little sauce for it so I'm just gonna do this how I do all my tofu and um, this is extra firm I'm just gonna cut this in half and then I just like to make little sticks here 
Now, if you want to cube this up, you can do that, but I'm going to cook it like this, and then I may cut it up into cubes. Just for me, this is the easiest way to cook it. Now, you want to make sure your pan is hot enough, so I just put a little bit of water in here, and that looks pretty close. You want to see how it's um, beating up there? That's perfect. And then I'm just going to put these in and they're gonna sizzle. And you want it hot because you want to get that good sear on there. And I leave a teeny space. And then what we're gonna do is cook them for a few minutes on each side. And I, I'll do all four sides. And let's see, can we sneak that one in there? I think we can, okay. So we'll just let these go. The first round is about five or six minutes. So we'll check these in about six, five or six minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. And a good way to know if they're ready to turn is that see how easily they're moving? So I'm just gonna flip it over. I always pretend like I'm going to use a spatula and then I end up just doing it with my hand because it's just easier. And then we'll do another five minutes. So we'll do that on all four sides to see the nice little sear we're getting. That is what you want. And we've got this pan on medium heat. We're going to let these go. And then I'm going to make a quick little sauce. So we're gonna do a quarter cup of barbecue sauce, any kind of barbecue sauce you would like to use, oil-free, of course. Some apple cider vinegar, some garlic. I'll put the exact measurements for all my recipes for everything in the description box. And in here we have smoked paprika, salt, and a little onion powder. And then we're just gonna whisk this all together. And when all four sides are done, I'm going to pour this in and it's just gonna sear right into the tofu. We'll flip it a few times and it will be really delicious. So we're just gonna let this go for a few more minutes and then we'll flip it again and then again and then all four sides will be done and then we'll put our sauce on. So as you can see, we have color on all four sides. That's what you want. So now we're gonna pour in our sauce. Move it around, flip it, just get all the sides coated with the sauce. And we're just gonna let this cook just till it cooks down a bit and everything's kind of glazed onto the tofu. So you just work, you know, work at it, flipping them over a few times. Just be careful because it's really hot and that sauce gets sticky, burn you. All right, so we'll just let this cook for a couple of minutes and then we'll be ready to make our bowl. So let's build our bowl. I've got some spring mix. I put some bell peppers in here. I've got a little bit of rice. And then I've got some roasted corn. This was just frozen. I defrosted it like in my freezer, no problem. I've got a little bit of red onion. This was left over from my chickpea lunch. And then the celery too, that was left over, so why not? And then I've got some tomatoes I'll put in here. Actually, let's put these over here. And then I took about four sticks of the tofu and just cubed them up. I'll make a little spot for them right here. Yes. Okay. 
And then I just have a little barbecue sauce that I'm going to just kind of pour over the veggies and over the lettuce. You put a little bit over the tofu, but it's got that nice marinade on there, that sauce. And that's it. So here we have our barbecue tofu bowl. Let's give it a taste. So last meal of the day, and I will be showing you what I'm going to have for dessert as well. So this was so easy. I think all the meals today were easy. You can agree with me on that. All from my pantry. Didn't have to go out and get anything special. It's stuff I have in my refrigerator or in my pantry every week. Um, it's my staples. And you can see how easy it is to make different meals and just change things up. I mean, with this tofu, you could have made it Asian. You could have made it Italian. I mean, there's just several different ways you can, you know, take the same components with a different sauce. So let's give this a try. I, I love tofu so much. Mm -mm. So good. Mm -hmm. And just look at all the colors in this plate. Tons of antioxidants, fiber, got your protein, you got some starch. It's perfect. And this is going to fill you up. You're going to feel satisfied and it's low calorie density. If you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with pantry meals. That way I know you stuck with me to the end and I really appreciate it. And if you learned something from this video, if you got value out of it, then please hit the like button. That helps my channel so much. It lets YouTube know that you like my videos, you like these kind of videos and they will spread it out to more people and we can get the word out about this super easy, wonderful, healthy, whole food plant-based eating called Start Solution. So let's get to dessert. Now this is a no-bake brownie. It's from Dr. Michael Greger's book, How Not to Die. I think it's in the How Not to Diet book as well. And there's no sugar in here. It's gluten-free, 100% plants. Um, I added the, I added a little bit of granola on top. That's not part of the regular recipe. And I also put a thin layer of chocolate on top. The chocolate that I used is um, sweetened with monk fruit. So totally sugar-free. And this is so fudgy and chocolatey and so easy. You don't have to bake it. It's perfect. So I will leave that recipe below in the description box. And this is a great dessert. If you do need something sweet, I usually eat about two of these little squares. I had two last night. I'll have two today. I may save a couple for tomorrow and then the rest I will take to work. Um, it makes about 16 because I can't really have this stuff in the house or I will just eat it. And this is higher calorie, just so you know, but it's good for a treat. It really satisfies your sweet tooth if you have one like I do. So I'm gonna taste this. Don't be jealous. Mm. And this would be something to bring to um, a brunch or get together. Definitely a crowd pleaser. So as always, my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals. They're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. On his program, I was able to lose 15 pounds and I've been, nope, 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 nope. And be sure to sign up for my news. I don't know my hands, they don't know what to do. And in my newsletter, I address different topics. Some are from a nursing perspective. Blah, blah, blah. I discuss. No. I don't do a lot of bread because bread tends to make me lose weight, but sometimes that doesn't make sense. <laughs>